Hi there, welcome to this tutorial for Fastlane Digital Audio School down in Montpellier, France. This is Freddy Frogs, a certified Ableton trainer. I'm going to show you today a technique to enable you to quantize your play on the fly, but also swing it on the fly. So if like me, you can't play that well on a controller or even on the drum kit, this record quantization function you find in the edit menu is very convenient. You see, this quantization function will move the notes to the nearest grid point as you let go of the keys. So it does it on the fly. You don't need to do it after you finish playing. So that's quite convenient. It makes your beat well much better when you can't play. The thing is that it's very rigid. It places the note right onto the grid. So there's no swing, no groove to it. So I'm going to show you a technique to do both these things at once. So first of all, I've enabled the record quantization and I've placed it on a 16th. And I'm now going to double click on an empty slot and create a new MIDI clip. I'm going to make it two bars long because beats on two bars are way better than one bar. It's less repetitive, isn't it? So now I'm going to open the groove pool here, right click in there and browse the groove library. Now I found loads of different groove templates Ableton's prepared for me, but I'm going to grab the Notator 16D, which is a classic swing. I'm going to place it onto the clip. So the clip is now that groove loaded onto it. Now, so I don't have to touch my mouse every time I want to create a new beat. I'm going to duplicate that empty clip many times. Okay. I'm kind of ready to play now. I've armed the track. I can play. Now, I need the metronome and I need the record button to be able to uh, switch the metronome on and off and come in and out of, of recording. So I'm going to map these two parameter to my controller here, okay? So I don't have to, once again, touch the mouse. That's it. I'm kind of ready to play. I'm going to bring that metronome on. I'm going to make bar, and it'll go. It's a lot better. It's quantized. It's also swung. I'm going to play the hats. You'll hear the swing. Can you hear the swing? I'm going to take the swing down to 0% so you can hear the beat without it. Let's go. That's no swing. That's with the swing. Can you hear these hats? They're a lot better. Uh, I can actually show you the positions of the hat. Look, I'm going to commit the swing. Look, some of the hats are behind the grid, you see? So that's how the swing works. Now, I don't usually do that. I just wanted to show you how to the notes were behind the grid. So it is swung, yeah, you can hear it as well. So I'm going to move on to the, the next beat now. Look, arrow down, enter. Metronome. Put more hats. And now you can hear the swing. Next beat. See, I just have to go arrow down, enter, and I go over to the next clip. I don't have to touch the mouse. I don't have to look at the screen. All right, let's do it. Two, three, four. Uh, ah, missed it. One, two, three, four. hear that it's swung it's quantified it's quantized sorry and it's also swung can't make it any more fun than that really next one not sure this one's gonna sound any good that's the beauty of playing your beats you see happy mistakes yeah Errors are important in a musician's flow. This, I didn't mean to write that beat, I messed it up. But you see, that could become a very good starting point for a very unique idea, something I probably wouldn't have never programmed with my mouse. And that's the how important it is to always play your stuff. Now, if you can't play like me, well, that's, that's exactly the technique you need, don't you? It's quantized and it's also swung.
Now you can also go a little further, you can hot swap the swing. I don't know if you've ever noticed, but you can hot swap the swing here. So whilst you're playing, you can actually browse other swings. So I'm gonna go for a like very like different swing here, maybe an eight swing. Listen. I just tried an eight swing on it. Arrows and enter button. It's all I need to try different swings on the fly. But that's you know, that's how you, how far you can take that technique so I'll let you have fun with that see you soon